like if you want to sit down doing my job, that's your problem. Okay, I'm gonna stand and cheer and freaking yell. You just see me like that. Hello everyone, this is your captain speaking. Welcome on board. Local time. 2.04 AM. Yes, I just came back from concert. <laughs> it's amazing. It's amazing. Like, wow. Okay, okay, let's not get into that. So today we're going to talk about my experience of BTS Love Is Our Concert in Bangkok. So the concert starts at 7 and door opens at, if I'm not wrong, 4. Or if I'm wrong, it should be 5. <laughs> I wanted to leave uh, my hotel earlier to go to the concert venue but I had some delay so I went there slightly later uh, Yeah and then there was like this terrible jam going on and I was like kind of persuaded by my friend to take a bike wow. Which my mom would kill me, I haven't told her but yeah I guess I would tell her because she sees this video I suppose Yeah so I took a bike, that was my first time riding a bike so bike is the ultimate transport you pick here in Thailand if you are in a rush. Like, don't don't bother grabbing, just grab a bike. Like, that's like the best. And I'm not talking about like bicycle bike, it's like a motorbike bike, okay. Obvious. So, yeah, so I rode bike like first time in my life today because of BTS. So I have to say thank you BTS, right? Thanks ah! Uh. And you're right, it's about 30 minutes. Actually, I wanted to put on makeup as well, but I was running late, so I have to skip that. But I don't think it matters because under the hot sun, all your makeup will melt. Like seriously, it's just so warm, like, I keep aspiring when I was there. Yeah, so, um, well I guess you guys can bring an umbrella, but I don't think it works because it's really humid as well, so... Yeah, try to wear light, like tie up your hair. If your hair's down, it's gonna be really, really hot. Yeah. So when I was there, many managed to find a BTS studio or the merchandise booth, but which is fine because you know I don't really buy concert merchandise. I only buy like steak, which is like so expensive. Like, why do Korean pop has such expensive like steaks? Like I don't understand. Like the like steaks are like easily 50, 60 sing dollars, which is like I guess 40 something, 50 something USD. If buying for like the official website, if it's a like retailer, the price is probably inflated as well. It's so expensive. You know, Mayday like said it's only ten dollars, and I buy for every single concert. Like, okay, you know, like every concert I have one like stick. But then for BTS, uh, I guess I only have one. Yeah, which like I'm gonna use it until like they change it, and I don't even know if I'm gonna buy it because it's just so expensive. Like, yeah, it's it's so expensive. And for the BTS studio, um, I didn't participate it mainly because I didn't know. And when I know about it, I try to participate like and ask a few armies about it. They say that actually like the poll has been done like quite some time ago and the results have been out like some time ago. So great. Yeah, I wanted to try my luck to queue because they say that you can queue like on first come first serve basis. But I was late and I couldn't even find the rules. So ah, bye bye BTS studio. Which is super sad because I don't want to play picture with them, you know. But anyway, yeah, that's that. For concerts in Thailand, you actually have to change the, your paper ticket to like a to like a physical ticket. Actually, I thought it was just like a BTS thing, like especially for BTS. But apparently, all concerts will have this kind of card. You guys see? So all concerts will have this kind of card. It's like a it's like a phone card. It's a really hard card. Which is like so pretty, like oh my god, I'm gonna keep this in my wallet forever and I'm not gonna take it out. Okay, maybe I'll put this at home because I don't want to scratch this. Like, it's so pretty, it's like the concert's key art and then followed by your ticket details at the back. Initially, I don't know where to change the ticket and then I asked an army and then she quickly pointed it out to me and brought me there. So, thank you army! Yeah, all armies are helpful, right? I mean... So I got my ticket and there was still some time left so I decided to like explore the space a little. There were like just so many people, like just so many people. I know weather is so hot, so humid and it just perspire like really quickly and I was like really like sweating a lot. A lot. There was this like empty area and then there was a lot of like random short queues and I have no idea what are they queuing because you have to know that people are selling merchandise outside. So I thought there are like people selling merchandise inside as well. But then they were like random short queues. So when I was looking at them, like you know, wondering what they're doing, and I realized that 
They're actually giving out fan packs like Seriously fan packs, they're giving out fan packs Yeah, so when I realized they, they were doing that And I quickly joined the queue And then this was the first one that I received like, I can never forget this, like this is my first fan um, pack Like It's this And then they have to hand make this and then they probably have to make like a few hundred or like at least a hundred. Yeah, which I think it's amazing. Like, like sorry I'm that lazy fan who doesn't do anything, but I really really appreciate them doing this. Yeah. See? I have a few which I will show them in another video I suppose, but yeah, I think my favorite one would probably be this. Because this is just amazing. Like, anyway, it's just Jungkook, and then like, it looks really good. It's like this plastic, this translucent plastic, and then yeah, I didn't even like queue for this in the arena, and we we're in the same row. And then another friend just randomly gave this to me. Like, you're amazing, girl. Yeah. As for fan packs, I think the main difference between the, the giving out of fan packs in Singapore and in Thailand is that in Singapore you are actually required to like like their fan page, like their Twitter page, like something something. But whereas in Thailand they just give out like you're not required to like anything at all. So like wow. Like I mean you're amazing man. Some people actually allow you to choose like your bias so you can actually request Oh I want I want this member and I want that member and some don't allow Some is just like a lucky pick because you know technically you're supposed to like all of them you know huh? Of course you can have a bias, we all have a bias Maybe you have a bias record as well I have a bias record But yeah technically you're supposed to like love all boys equally Like at least don't hate on them and cheer on them you know you have to love them all so I suppose while queuing, sometimes they would run out Like it happened to me a couple of times so I was queuing halfway Like they just run out And then the line just dispersed And people would like run to the other line And whenever someone like new came in And started giving out fan packs Then there would be like a line quickly formed Like really really quick And I have to thank those armies for doing this Because because of you guys People like me get to have them Yeah So Big thumbs up with you guys. So after collecting some, you know, time is about up. Like we have like another hour before the concert starts. So I decided to enter. Same as Singapore, Thailand doesn't allow you to bring water inside. So you have to empty your bottle. So there were a lot of like empty bottles lying around then. And then after that, then they will check your card and check your bag. And then the thing is right, there were a lot of counters. I mean not saying that Singapore doesn't have a lot of counters, but it's just it's just shorter and quicker, like they move people really fast So in front of me were just probably like 3 to 4 people And I got my back checked like really really quick Unlike the one in Singapore, there's such a long queue And without the express car, I probably like stuck outside for like an hour And the sun was so big If you think Singapore has a very warm weather You need to come to Thailand in April Like the weather is disgustingly warm Like it's so hot, like you just melt like you just step outside and you just melt <laughs> So after you enter, what do you usually do? You go to the washroom And then with army being like 98% female We kind of like hold out all the toilets Including the men's toilets <laughs> Poor men, I'm sorry But please understand us There's so just way more females there I'm sorry Yeah And then I saw this guy trying to go to the washroom for men where he's kind of like stopped because there are actually females inside and then the, I guess the person in charge felt like a bit embarrassed like oh I'm sorry we can go to like another floor's toilet or something yeah I couldn't understand because it's all in Thai but it's probably something like that and the person was like oh I'm sorry so when you're inside you can buy a bottle of water just like in Singapore each bottle of water costs 10 baht Thai baht and it looks something like this la pro tip um, after pairing your army bomb, after pairing your army bomb, remember to switch your button to zero. Yeah, so a lot of people make this mistake because right? when you were pairing, they will ask you to like switch it down, like all the way at the bottom. But then after pairing, you're supposed to like switch it up, like all the way up. And that's how you know it gets paired because otherwise the color is not gonna be correct. And I've seen so many armies like keep pairing it. 
and then not getting you know like not getting in sync with the songs and whatnot. This is because they don't they don't push it up. So push it up after pairing and then you get your like stick to be in sync with the rest. And then you're the one, guess what? So after I enter, the first MV I saw I was just meant to be there at the time. Yeah, but actually now that I think of it, it's probably due to like the timing. Like I probably enter the arena about the same timing I did in Singapore and that's why I saw Blood Sweat and Tears. Like I never knew what played before that, but not that it matters, but yeah. <laughs> okay, so Thailand crowd. Um, okay, despite it being cat one, you know, and they're all so near when they come forward and so close to you and then screens are bigger because it's nearer to you as well. I feel that cat one actually kind of like behave like my cat for category back in Singapore, but not as bad. So when I'm just saying like, oh, you know, stand up, you know, and dance, and then I guess people do stand up. And then after that song, and then they sit right back down like, okay. Okay, so like for tear, Namjoon would say like, you know, like stand up or whatnot, I'm trying to hype people up and then for mic drop and then they all sit down, like If you want to sit down during mic drop, that's your problem, okay? I'm gonna stand and cheer and freaking yell, you know, like you know, stuff like that Yeah, don't pretend you're not gonna do that, okay? If you're not gonna do that, I don't know why you and I'm like, did you see my back? Yeah <laughs> that's that. So I really have to thank Namjoon for asking people to stand up because otherwise no one's gonna stand up and everyone's just sitting down. Why would you do that during a concert? Like why? I think, I don't know, like, like besides Cat One, I suppose you have to get like, the pan area, like the one closest to the stage. Because I guess Cat One sitting down doesn't really like do much as well. Oh yeah, actually, uh, I think there's a celebrity of sort came to, during the concert because when he came in, Everyone was just screaming like, ah and then, like people want to take a picture of him, I suppose. Yeah, I've taken the picture myself, but I really have no idea who is he, so if you guys know, let me know. So the concert ended and I actually rushed out because I know that there wasn't going to be like any more things at the back. Because, well, I've already watched the Singapore one. So I rushed out trying to beat the crowd, and then guess what? I was just following the crowd to lead me out of the place because for some reason I didn't research that place and I didn't research on how to get back home. I right, good job. So I was following the crowd and guess what I saw? BTS studio and BTS merchandise. Yeah, they are the official merchandise seller, so they're not they're not like you know the stores at roadside. Yeah, so I saw that and then the queue was like super short. Like each queue only probably had like two to three people and. For someone who doesn't buy merchandise, I went to queue because you know people actually queue overnight for those BTS merchandises, and now it's only like two to three people. I definitely have to queue. Right? I'm not sure what kind of mentality is this. There was no need to buy BTS Love Yourself merchandise at all because Love Yourself tour is ending. They're starting a new tour next month with new merchandise, but nope. The stupid brain just decided, oh my god, there's so little people, I'll just go get one merchandise. I wanted to get the bracelet, but then it was out of stock. And then the person said, oh, you can come back tomorrow, we're selling tomorrow. So I guess they say it's some for tomorrow, which doesn't really make sense. But then, kind of like told a small line, I said, oh, but I'll be flying tomorrow, so I won't be able to make it. Can you sell it to me now? But apparently, the answer is. Da da! Dang! No! So yeah, I didn't get the bracelet, but I got something else instead. Which I guess I'll try to put it in one of the videos so you guys will know. Yeah, it was lame. Like, I shouldn't have bought it. I shouldn't have spent money on them, but what to do? I think it's also like kind of guilty because I remember when I got into Mania, I was so guilty of like missing out them on their earlier days that I like just decided to watch like a lot of concerts and buy a lot of albums. Yeah, which was... I wouldn't say a bad decision, but I was like too rash la. Like I wish I would have considered more. Yeah, which I guess was about the same as BTS because like they have debuted like I think about five years before I know who they actually are. And then yeah, well, I'm just spending like so much money trying to I guess like catch up the missing time. I wish I'm a more logical person, but I guess I'm just not. And yeah, thinking that Angela would be like one of the first few to show out of the stadium. 
Nah, thanks to the merchandise, I became like part of the crowd. Like the, the very, very large crowd. Like there were so many people. I probably walked about like 20 minutes away from the stadium to get a grab. And then there was like still a lot of people. And then my grab like came 45 minutes late, which is like for another video. That's insane. Like that whole episode was so insane. But hey, you know, in the meantime, I met this Vietnam army, which is like super cool. Yeah, like BTS go to Vietnam. Like I've met like two Vietnam army complaining that you guys don't go to like their country. They just go Vietnam. Like what's so difficult about this? If you can go to Thailand, you can go to Singapore, you can come to Vietnam. Okay, next stop, speak yourself, Vietnam tour. Yep. So I guess overall it was kind of like fun. I guess I'm just happy that I got some fan packs and quite sad that they're not playing Blood, Sweat and Tears at Go Go. The whole concert experience was really fun, but it's so warm at the same time. I mean, concert is always very hectic, especially when it involves like a large stage. I just hope the boys get more rest because if you have seen my highlight videos of the BTS Bangkok concert, you will know that they will need more rest. So that sums up my experience. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time. Bye.